So, hello and welcome to another World of Tank replay. I'm playing with my clan mate Armored Hotte. We're in our Jack Panthers 2. Um, or in our Jack Panthers, I, I don't know, I don't care. It's very late, I'm really tired. <laughs> my words, mods are not working and um, I'm kind of not even... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think it's good. I, I won't use it again. Maybe I will... Um, install the gun sound and um, the engine mod because this is really an uh, upgrade for the game but XVM is mostly just <laughs> <laughs> disappointing <laughs> telling you you will lose all the time <laughs> that's not what I need in this game um, actually we had a really nice streak today I did we'll, we'll, uh, upload three replays here I just went on auto drive because I had <laughs> to make some settings for the uh, for, for for the visualization of the names and stuff. Um, maybe it will uh, change now. I'm not sure what I did exactly. <laughs> it might be a bit odd at the beginning, but yeah, actually it will will continue to be an interesting game. Um, as you can see, most of our tanks just went for the field. It is, yeah, always when you are on this kind of um, map situation that you have one flag, I tend to go to where the flag is. Because if you don't, you might have the problem that you are not able to reach it because you are pinned down in some specific position or uh, you um, get killed too far away or you're just too far away to 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 reach the cap and defend it um so i tend to go very close here i'm looking if i can get shot by the ice 8 which just popped out um it's very important that you keep an eye on the minimap i don't always do because sometimes when you get to a very um crowded and and action like position. I'm, I'm thinking about shooting this car actually. My t uh, clanmate just told me that you can shoot through the car and pan the opponent on the other side. I wasn't like sure about this, so <laughs> yeah, I obviously just uh, didn't believe him. <laughs> so I um, yeah, destroyed the car so we have uh, a uh, better line of si uh, uh, fire line. Um, it's 2 0 for now, it's going well, but yeah, then. There, it, there, our first tank is dead. We're thinking, like, okay, we have an uh, E75. As far as I remember, I will put the, uh, we'll hold the Alt button because so you, so you will see the tanks and not the names because the names are just useless. Um, we have an E75. I have a KB4. Uh, no, a STI, uh, a e uh, KB4, and there are a lot enemy tanks so we decide yeah we need to help them and since we can't go frontally because our armor is not non-existent we need to flank them this is uh, dangerous it's a dangerous maneuver uh, because the uh, Tiger 2 and the VK are in the back but we think like hey this is a, a dangerous uh, uh, we can lose this, so we need to do something. Uh, since we have two tanks and we have yeah, like uh, 1000 damage potential with uh, two shots, we can make a change actually. Now I'm thinking, okay, they are not paying attention to us. Uh, yeah, it was kind of not right because there is a Jack Panther which is most likely paying attention to us. I shot him once, we shot him twice, again 1000 damage. Bam. Um, now my teammate is getting hit by the VK, which we kind of needed to ignore because we we had to uh, shoot one of the valuable, valuable targets. Yeah, here I I don't get it. I guess. Oh yeah, I <laughs> he was kind of a little bit stupid. Now we are getting flanked. This is not a good situation. We have so many enemies. I will try to keep an eye at one of them. And there I bounce. I don't know why this guy didn't kill me, but yes, let's take a look at it. I don't even see where it bounced from. I guess, oh yeah, maybe there in front. This one. Yeah, he had like a really bad angle. Um, there I get another bounce. Oh, sorry. I may have not uh, changed the camera. This is 75 actually. Um, that well, now 
I get <laughs> okay. It's a little bit of uh, skill, just a little tiny bit, and oh, a huge bit of. Okay, now I'm thinking. Okay, I'm prepared. I need to go for this guy. Also, am I ever gonna get damaged by the E75? I may shouldn't have turned to the KV4 because that uh, most likely might have killed me. But what we did here is very important. We um, made him kind of pay attention to us. We did a lot of damage. You will see in the post game stuff that I will uh, upload as usual to the to the replay site. And we made it um, possible for our team to get back to base without them capping and capping like four or five tanks. If we would have gone to the field or somewhere else, they would just have had a time to kill the STI. Yeah, the KV-4 is just, I, I don't know, he did, or didn't do, and um, would have most likely capped. Yeah, but <laughs> you can see a nice team killed He was in sniper mode and didn't pay attention to it, and it was really unlucky, but yeah, well, well <laughs> it happens. <laughs> no, he's raging for the elk, and um, yeah, I, I, I can understand him. But <laughs> actually, it was rather rather funny than than <laughs> really really bad. Um, yeah, we won this. Actually, I think because we made a huge difference in this game. That's why I uploaded it to you to show you some some possibilities you have in this tank and. Um, it is not only for camping somewhere because you have some decent speed, you have a very powerful gun which uh, can be used and if you angle this tank I this is not the first time that I get in the bounces like this because they will aim for your uh, yeah for for everything underneath your gun yeah because it's paper and if you angle your tank like uh, like I did there is, because of all the sloping and increasing of uh, blah blah blah, <laughs> there is a good chance that you might bounce something. Uh, don't get me wrong, this is not happening like most of the time, but like let's say, yeah, in 50% of the time, and even if you if you move around a lot, they will shoot your tracks and stuff. This tank is really track and and uh, absorbing and bouncy kind of strange ish whatever <laughs> okay i hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah see you on the next one